Hey there sports fans, welcome to another special celebrity sports edition with me, the Raj Man. My guest today is a former WWE superstar. She, she began her career at the age of 19 when she signed on with the WWE. And uh, in, that, in, in her career with the WWE, she, uh, she became the Divas Champion. And just recently, in a special appearance, she became the first woman to win the 24-7 title. There's, she needs no further intro introduction. Her name is Kelly Kelly. Of course, her real name is Bobby Blank. Bobby, welcome back to Singapore. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. Uh, this is your second trip uh, to the Lion City. It is. Uh, how do you feel coming back uh, to Singapore? I love coming back here. I love seeing the fans. I love you know seeing the culture again, trying the food. Um, yeah, it's been great so far. Okay. Is there one specific dish that uh, has caught your attention or your taste buds? I love all food. Right. So, I mean, we went to Lavo last night and we had steak, we had chicken parm, we had pasta, pizza, I mean, we had everything. See, she, the fact that she mentioned Lava is as if she's back in her hometown. Lava, yeah. of course, is at uh, Marina Bay Sands. Um, okay, so you're back here for, you're one of the three uh, divas that are in town for the very first edition of WrestleFest. Yeah. And uh, Refus, Ref, WrestleFest Asia, how does it feel to be part of history in the making? Because <laughs> even, you know, it's the very first uh, sort of wrestling convention. It's been great. I mean, this is amazing that this, you know we're a part of the first ever WrestleFest. And I hope this goes on for many years. It's yeah. very exciting to be a part of. And yeah, love meeting on the fans. Yeah. Uh, Bobby has had the chance to actually do the meet and greet sessions. Uh, I think she's met more than 100 or 150 fans so far. Uh, what's the common reaction that you got from our Singapore fans? Oh, everybody is so polite and so excited. Um, yeah, they're just, you know, happy to meet me and it's been, you know, and I feel exactly the same about them. Yeah. You know, I love meeting the fans and I love getting to interact with them and uh, kind of talk to them today and I'm excited for our question and answer. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, the panel session is, <laughs> is coming up in a, in a while. You pro uh, by the time you see this, it will be over, but uh, just to let just to let you know, we have fans in Singapore, mm -hmm. as well as Malaysia, yeah. uh, the Philippines. I just saw two guys who arrived this morning, and uh, just two hours ago, they came straight from the airport, just to see the three of you. Yeah. And we've got a fan who flew in from Australia as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it shows that the fans... They're coming from all over. Exactly. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about your wrestling career. So, you were the youngest, I believe, no, at the age of 19, yeah. to sign on the WWE, mm -hmm. uh, that was almost a decade ago, yeah. uh, in 2006. Yeah. 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 So she, she made her debut with ECW. <laughs> you know, she had her own segment called, you know, Kelly's Expose, and then after that, it just maybe you could, before we talk about WWE, maybe you could sum up your time with uh, ECW, <laughs> and and of course our uh, Bobby. Yeah. Um. So I started. I was the youngest WWE diva um, that they'd ever had, yeah. 19 years old, and. You know, I got brought into ECW um, with a storyline um, with the guy called Mike Knox, yeah. and I was his girlfriend. And uh, I would do a striptease kind of for like a minute, and he would come out and cover me up. And we did that for a little while, and then um, we started Extreme Expose with Layla and Brooke every week. We would do like a dance routine, and that was really fun because no one was really doing it at the, you know, anything like that. Mm. Um, so that was great, and then I got to finally wrestle. Um, I used to wrestle Layla and Brooke, uh, and we had storylines with The Miz, and yeah. it was very cool. It was very great to start there. It was a great learning experience to kind of start there um, before I got moved to Raw. So yeah. it was great to, to start there and learn um, everybody from Tommy Dreamer, Sandman, um, to Paul Heyman. Yeah, I mean, everybody was so great. Uh, Paul Heyman was the reason I got brought up to ECW. It was his idea, so yeah, it was very cool. Okay, so from the transition from uh, ECW to the main roster on Raw, mm -hmm. um, you also had several feuds, uh, which led up eventually to winning the, mm -hmm. the Divas Championship. You beat Brie Bella. Yeah. Uh, how did you feel? Of, you know, in, how did you feel becoming the champion? Uh, it felt so great. It felt like it was a long time coming. I feel like I had. You know, been there for like five years, um, and it was just my time. I think the fans were ready, yeah. I was ready, 
um, yeah, it was just my time to shine, kind of, and uh, it was great. It was, it, you know, that night I was so happy and so excited. I started crying in the ring because um, it was like that's what I've been working for my whole career. So yeah. it was like, oh my gosh, I finally accomplished this. So. Just to let you know, the little bit of uh, ambient sound is from our WWE universe. The fans are in Singapore. They're just next door, just waiting to catch all the three divas uh, in the panel session. Your title reign lasted, if I'm not mistaken, according to Wikipedia, was uh, uh, 104 days. Oh wow! Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. But, um, so how did you feel about the title reign itself in, in those? I loved it. Um, I you know defended it almost every week. Um, I loved my my runs with like Beth Phoenix, um, mm -hmm. uh, the Bella Twins, uh, Maurice, um, Eve. You know, I love being able to work with all those girls and defend my title. Um, I had a great run. Okay. And following that, that run, uh, eventually you, you, you left the WWE, I believe, in about 2013. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you went on to do your other things. And then, lo and behold, <laughs> Kelly Kelly was back in uh, the WWE programming and uh, the network as well. Just about two years ago, you appeared on a, a couple of segments on the WWE Network, mm -hmm. and then you appeared on the Royal Rumble, the right. first ever Royal Rumble mm -hmm. Women's 2018. How did it feel like? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, I remember when they announced it, and I was like, I have to be a part of this. And I remember emailing, you know, Stephanie, um, Hunter, uh, all the all the big guys, and being like, Hey guys, hey, I want to be a part of this. And they were like, So of you course. sounded them up? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> and uh, I think you got eliminated by. Ah, I seem yeah, to have forgotten who. Was it was, no. Wasn't Naya. Oh, Naya. Naya, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was January uh, 2018. You fast forward about eight months later, you were part of another historic moment for the first time ever in the industry. An all women's pay per view. This was, of course, Evolution. <laughs> Uh, you were part of that as well. Uh, I believe it was a battle royal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, did you sound them out again or they came? They came they to me for yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, that was. But I think they knew I wanted to be a part of it because um, I love making appearances now and then and, and coming back and being a part of history because, you know, what the girls are doing right now is so amazing. So I love being able to be a part of it. Yeah. And that one, the battle royal, I think you got eliminated by somebody. It's in my notes. <laughs> she, she's conveniently forgotten. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, um, but that didn't stop. It didn't stop there. Uh, the Kelly Kelly train kept running. Nine months after Evolution, you were back. you were back on Raw. This was the reunion special. You know, uh, uh, I think there were close to forty legends, including yourself. Yeah. Uh, how did you feel? You know, coming back and seeing all the legends. It was great. Um, it was just like, you know, a re it was a raw reunion, you know, it was all of us getting back together and even in the locker room, it was like we had never left, you know. Um, all the girls that I worked with were back and we were at catering and we and we were all sitting down just catching up with everyone's lives and we were in the locker room and we were just like, oh my gosh, like no time has passed. And yeah. so it was really great, really, really good to see everybody. And, uh did you at all think that you would become the first woman ever mm -hmm. to win the 24-7 time? I didn't. I had. I. It was a big surprise to me. And when they asked me if I would do it, I was honored. It was like, of course, yeah. I mean, this is a huge, huge accomplishment. Why not? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, just last two questions. Um, so, so that was just only uh, about three months ago. Mm -hmm. What are you busy with uh, today, your current projects? Um, so I have a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, I have a skin care line, I have a wine line, I have a bikini line, and I'm involved in this charity and nonprofit called Cure Glioblastoma. Uh, so, you know, just trying to get my hand in, in a lot of different things right now, and I do a lot of these, com like, basically comic cons all over. Yeah. Um, and so I stay busy with those all, almost every weekend. and. Yeah, with Instagram too, uh, really, you know, started working with a lot of influ like, you know, fashion brands and kind of just being an influencer. Yeah. Uh, we talked about this earlier on, about this being the very first and then uh, that the, the Singaporeans are still not used to the concept of uh, paying for meet and greet. Uh, uh, so what is your message uh, to the fans? I mean, as we move forward into the new next decade, a new generation of fans and uh, the concept of 
you know, coming coming out to meet with the stars, and just yeah. Um, I just think it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to you know meet your favorite wrestler, even as you know a fan of wrestling or a fan in general. Um, you know, we've traveled a long way. I know personally, I you know was on a flight for 19 hours mm -hmm. to come over here to meet everybody. So I'm you know going out of my way because I want to meet you guys, and so you know. Okay. Uh, last question. She, I mean, you're, you're still in your early thirties. It's still, yeah. yeah. Is there still a possible comeback in the squared circle for Kelly Ken? I like to say never say never. So stay tuned. Right. <laughs> there you have it. The former uh, 347 champion, former uh, Divas champion Kelly Kelly, live in Singapore at Wrestle Fest Asia 2019. It was a pleasure speaking Thank to you. So we hope to see you back in uh, Singapore, yeah. maybe in 2020. Yeah, for sure. <laughs>